And welcome everyone in to the Haskell House for today's episode of the Main Street Sports Show sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet on ExploreClarion.com. I'm your host Owen Krupps. I'm lonely and I'm in a different seat today, but not on the other side uh, of the floor as we've got a whole six whopping guests all from Franklin uh, High School Basketball after their phenomenal run. They're joining us later in our show today. Um, but just in general, some, some just housekeeping things. Uh, obviously, I'm back. I've been, a, I've been off for a week uh, from the show in general. Um, and then we're kind of in, getting into spring sports, obviously, uh, with things going on here. But we definitely wanted to get on uh, Franklin boys basketball team after what they just accomplished uh, this past season. So we have Jason Fulmer, head coach, as well as his entire starting five, which I'll let them introduce uh, each other uh, specifically here uh, in a second. But that's all. Uh, uh, we'll just let, let introduce you guys now. Um, how are you doing, guys? Uh, Jason, if you, all the seniors can introduce themselves and just uh, just yeah, opening thoughts or anything like that. Yeah, so uh, Coach Fulmer, I've uh, been uh, coaching for the last 12 years. Well, actually more than that, but uh, um, been at Franklin for seven. Uh, my, starting, my starting lineup is here tonight. you got Damon Curry, senior, 6'5", uh, four-year letterman. Uh, Jalen Wood, my point guard. He's the little guy over there in the, in the side, right? So he's. We put uh, him in the back for some reason. Yeah, big chair. We figured a big chair. But, uh, and then um, Drayden Payne up here in front of me, uh, also a senior, uh, very impactful. My glass, my glass guy, my grit guy. Uh, Cole Buckley, our uh, all around athlete. Uh, great state run in the playoffs, uh, big football guy, uh, great athlete. Like I said, he uh, – and then DeMarco Payne. Uh, DeMarco uh, was our shooting guard, uh, had a great, phenomenal season, uh, come back, battled back from injury, and, uh, you know, had a uh, – you know, about as per pitcher perfect uh, senior season for a guy that you could get. Of course. Uh, well, thank you guys all for joining us. We'll dive into the season that you guys had, and of course, the, we'll address the elephant in the room. Uh, state runner-ups uh, for Division 10 uh, 3A boys basketball this season. I'm sure you guys have a lot to say about that, and I'll definitely pick your brains about that. Um, but it's almost 7.05 here. We got started a little bit late, so we'll take our first break at 7.05. We'll come back in about three minutes, and that's all coming up on the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. 
Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. And welcome back to the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House on ExploreClarion.com. I'm alone here today, but I still have a lot to talk about uh, when it comes to our specific sports headlines for the national sports headlines, specifically what's going on with the Pirates and Penguins. And if you guys want to jump in at all and give your two cents on anything that's going on in the Big Fours or March Madness or anything like that, March Madness is technically over now, but April Final Four and all that good stuff. Um, we'll start with that. Have you guys been paying attention to that? Um, how closely did you guys watch? Did you guys do a team bracket for, for both the uh, men's and women's? And who, who's leading that? So our athletic trainer is in the lead for the bracket. He's got about 99% correct so far. So the second place is like 80%. So he's killing everybody right now in the bracket. What was the big upset that he got right? He guesses the Oakland versus Kentucky matchup nice. and got it right. Wow. <laughs> So a little background, right? So our athletic trainer is no basketball, right? He's a football guy. No. So uh, as, our, as our trip to Hershey, as we left on Thursday, right, and the tournament began, uh, I got to listen to our athletic trainer going, I told you so. I told you so every time there was an upset. So you guys paying attention to the women's side of things, too? Or the K Kaylin Clark, man, like Dog. heck of a player to watch. How do you feel about that goal? Kaitlyn Clark's going to win it all. That's all I got to say. She's yeah. the best player in college basketball. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't pay attention much to it. Um, I, I'll just read off the teams that are still alive. What, or when is the final four games? Is that tomorrow? tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for that because I didn't read them off. And there would actually be two left. But uh, for the men's, it's UConn, Alabama, Purdue, and NC State. And then for the women's, it's uh, Iowa, UConn, South Carolina, and NC State as well. So. Um, do you guys have you guys ever been to any of the games? Like, do you ever go down to Pittsburgh to watch any of the games? I know my brother just my brothers just did. No, I, I was supposed to, but we made it to Hershey, so that got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Priorities, not a big deal. Um, other other news, NFL news. Um, Stephon Diggs goes to the Houston Texans. I I'm very surprised at that, and that's such a I, I love that for the Texans and. I got a lot of friends who are Bills fans, so they're obviously not very happy about that. Are, you, are any of you guys Bills fans? What, what, what is the fandoms around here? Is it all Steelers? Steelers. I like, I like the Cowboys. Uh. <laughs> Jason, are you a Steelers fan? No, so I, uh, I'm a uh, 49ers fan. So I, I, grew up in, I grew up in the 49er era, Joe okay. Montana, you know, Jerry Rice. So, But, yeah, the Stephon Diggs thing really uh, – was big and I didn't know. I don't know. It was always a Woody Wolty uh, get traded type of thing, and it ended up happening. Uh, while we're in that that realm, we'll talk about the Steelers real quick. Not much news to go off of right now. Will they get a wide receiver? Will they not? Um, I would love them to get Brandon Ayuk, uh, but I don't know if that is going to happen or not. Um, and then they invited former Commanders linebacker, uh, some guy named Hudson Kalki Hudson. I don't know if I'm saying that name right, but. Uh, main thing I want to talk about is the teams that are both in Washington D.C. right now, uh, playing uh, the Penguins and the Cap or the Capital and the Penguins and the uh, Pirates. Uh, Pirates are off to a tear. I don't know how big of baseball fans you guys are, but I just like it when the Pirates are good, which has been never in my lifetime. So uh, they're five and one to start the season. Clint Hurdle or not Clint Hurdle? Oh my gosh, um, manager got ejected yesterday. Not Clint Hurdle. Who's uh, Derek Shelton? Got ejected yesterday. Um, that was the last time the Pirates were good was when they had Clint Hurdle. But are you guys Pir are MLB fans at all? You follow it or? A little bit. So, so? I followed it a little bit. Yeah? Who's your team? Pirates? Yeah, the Pirates. Yeah, the Pirates. Um, and then they're playing tonight in Washington, D.C. They're crushing the Nationals right now. And then what's going on other, uh, down the street is at Capital One Arena, the Penguins and Capitals are playing in what could possibly be the season. I'm a big hockey fan. I've worked kind of covered in the NHL uh, before, so I'm a huge Penguins fan, and I'm hoping they can pull it off. Sidney Crosby's got 
16 points in his last five games or something like that, something crazy like that. Hockey, I don't know. When you talk to basketball players, usually they're not big hockey fans. But are any of you guys hockey fans? The only dude I know is Matt Remp because he gets in fights. Matt Rempe, that was last night. <laughs> that happened last night. Did you guys see the line brawl last night? Yeah, that was fun with Matt Rempe and the Rangers. Right off the bat, all five guys on the Devils and all five guys on the Rangers just got in a huge fist to cut. So it, it was fun. Um, now that we have a little bit of time, actually, um, I'd throw in today in sports history, a lot of college basketball stuff given the time of the year. I wasn't going to write them all down. Uh, but in 1989, Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played his last NBA game in Seattle. Um, now, I, well, I wanted to, we'll touch on this later, but NBA, too. We obviously don't have an NBA team locally or in Pittsburgh or anything like that. But how important has that been for you guys? Uh, you, I'm assuming you guys watch the NBA. Who's your guys' teams there and role models? I'm not Kareem because he's, you know, long gone. But I've always liked the Cavs. Interesting. Well, I've always followed LeBron because when I first started getting into basketball, that's, LeBron was dominating in the league. Mm -hmm. So I've always followed him, really. I've more so just been a Warriors fan, like, you know, the last name, Curry. Just kind of rocking with the Curry name and just kind of, like, building <laughs> no. it with the whole three-pointer and all that. It seems like whenever I talk to NBA fans, they always try and follow a player rather than a team. Um, also uh, today in, in NHL history in 1986, Wayne Gretzky scored his 213th point of the season, which was an NHL record and will always be an NHL record. Um, and then going back in 1974, Hank Aaron tied Babe Ruth for all-time home runs with 714. So, yeah, that's a lot. So, yeah. Um, any other things you guys want to bring up? I don't know what's going on in the NBA world right now. No? Okay. <laughs> the 90s don't go there. All right, well, when, we, when we get back, we'll obviously dive into what you guys did this past season. Um, just the, the fantastic season that I'm sure you guys will never forget. And just the playing career that you guys have had um, since you guys came in as freshmen. Uh, and just even before then. Um, and that's all coming up on the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show, sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet uh, and on ExploreClarion.com, live from the Haskell House. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. Protect your home or business from all those sneaky pests. Give Hugh Henry's Pest Management a call at 814-316-1875 or check them out online at bugguy.com. Pest management, where nature and technology meet. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in.
Marion Forrest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins Road in Clarion. Call us toll-free at 1-800-262-2118. How cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show, sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet, live from the Haskell House and on ExploreClarion.com. Let's dive right into our main featured interview of the show today, and that comes with pretty much everybody from Franklin uh, High School Boys Basketball, and uh, their starting five, and head coach Jason Fulmer. I want to start with, obviously, this past season, but I want to start at the very beginning. I grew up in the area, so I've kind of always known that, oh, Franklin always has good athletic programs. But when we talked on the phone, Jason, you said it was a matter of opportunity uh, and you know, seizing the opportunity to make a run like you guys did all the way to Hershey. Um, was that the sense that you guys got um, coming in, you know, in, in the preseason workouts and things like that? Like, hey, we really have a chance to, to do something special this year? Well, that was always the goal. Uh, last year, it got cut off short. And we felt we could have went there and maybe won. I don't know. But that was always the goal coming in. Uh, and getting there was it was unimaginable. What stood out different? Was there anything different in terms of preparation and leading up to, you know, even before, like, scrimmages and things like that, that you felt there was an aura that was a little bit different uh, in, in the locker room or on the court that something may be a little bit different this year in a good way? Uh, yeah, so, like, we there's practices you can literally like the pra the environment is just different like dudes are going after each other it's a dog fight like everything every drill everyone's going as hard as we can and yeah that that time like that's the best part about uh sports in general it's like the environment that you create coach when you look at this senior class you eight seniors five of them here was that also in the back of your mind saying like this is a great senior class i really want to do something with it yeah so you know these guys right here, you know, so they won three district titles in a row, district 10 titles in a row. Uh, we came up a little short on our fourth one in a row. But uh, as for for a a senior class to have three of those um, and then state runs all included in there, you know, uh, 2001, the COVID year, right? Th these guys were freshmen, uh, Cole Buck. Uh, Damon Curry and Jalen were uh, all varsity guys, dressed varsity at that time. Dame actually played a ton of, ton of time for us then. Uh, lost in Elite Eight. The next year, uh, the next year we uh, got beat at home, uh, first round of state playoffs. Um, very good Elwood City team. We had a kid in the middle of the game concussed. Kid put his, my son put his uh, the t or his braces through his lip, you know. So it was like we we kind of lost. We had an opportunity. We thought we we're going to make a deep run there, possible states. Kind of got taken away from us. Uh, the next year, uh, 2003 or 2023, um, we go into the lead eight. We win two state playoff games. We're in the lead eight. Uh, I felt like uh, we were significantly better than the team that we faced, the Pen Cambria. 
but Penn Cambria came out, shot it well, and, and we didn't. So it kind of left that empty taste in our mouth again. Uh, but I felt like the difference in this group than years past was being so senior, strong, uh, just, not, just not seniors, but how tight they were. Uh, they're buddies, they hang out, you know, uh, whether it's basketball, non-basketball, whether it's football season, whether it's summertime, these guys are together, right? And, and you can see that on the floor when they, they hold each other accountable. Sometimes they get a little bit of barking back and forth, right? Little gripe and that, that kind of deal. But ultimately, I feel like that's what put us over the top. We didn't have those uh, relationships in, in pre prior years. Part of it probably because we had freshmen and you know, we had 15 year old kids and, and 18 year old kids. So, you I mean, that this, uh, it's a little bit different that way, but this group here, I felt like that's what put us over the top. You know, uh, the Chestnut Ridge game comes to me, comes to mind, right? It was an ugly, ugly game. We got, uh, we were on the way down to the bus down to, um, where was that? Gateway, gateway, and uh, we typically don't take charters. We took a charter for that reason because it was so far. Uh, turnpike, turnpike gridlocked, yeah. right? So now instead of being an hour and 15 minutes before the game, now we're looking at being 25, 30 minutes before the game. Uh, you know, so it was a, it was an ugly, ugly game, right? But I felt like that was one of those character games where these guys all held each other accountable. It wasn't pretty. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't pretty, but, but we figured it out and figured out how to win. And I feel like at that point in time, that's when it, we, we crested and said, all right, look, watch out. And that's you know. when Deer Lakes and Gerard, the second time through, uh, you know, we, we took care of business. Of course, we'll get to Gerard later, but I wanted to talk about just, I can already sense it, and I've only, like, known you guys for, like, what, 40 minutes now. You guys are definitely a close group of friends, teammates, and just you know, brothers, essentially. Um, you guys took, a, like, a bus here to get here. You guys all wore matching outfits. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, but, like, how long have you guys been not only just, like, playing basketball together, but been around each other, playing other sports together? Like, how many other sports do you guys play together? Are you guys all football guys? Are you guys playing baseball right now? Things like that. Like, what has your guys' relationship been like? So I feel like it starts when we were all really young kids playing basketball at the YMCA together, like, organized basketball on different teams. And we just worked our way up playing travel ball teams together because the city of Franklin's so small. Kids going to different elementary schools combined to play for one travel team. And just working our way up through middle school and eventually to play together as eight seniors and just have all that young experience and being able to be so close outside of basketball as well. How many, we got, how many football players we got here? Just you two? Yeah. And then how many baseball, track and field? What, what do you guys, soccer? Soccer? I just played golf and you basketball. You golfed? Okay. So, but basketball, that's what, that's the main sport. When did basketball kind of just, has it always stood out for most of you guys as like, that's my sport. That's the one that I'm like, I'll do golf in the fall or I'll, yeah, in the fall and other things like that. But basketball is where it's at. Yeah. I mean, at a young age, like I always loved basketball. Like I remember like being a little kid running up and down the floor, like having fun with it. And like I, I formed a lot of relationships and bonded with a lot of guys over it. And I, I saw the beauty in basketball because of that. Uh, I mean, and then the fun times came around and, like, I never had more fun unless I was on the basketball court. Of course. Um, and then going back, I wanna, I'm want i kind of trying to go chronologically here with through you guys this season. So you said you, during the break you started the season off actually 3-3. Three and three. Uh, And, again, always a good program that you guys have, but it, you probably want a little you know, better record to start the season out. And then injury trouble starts to uh, get going. How kind of important was that adversity, especially early in the season, uh, to get you guys prepared for – uh, the eventual run that you guys went on. So one thing, you know, with these, with this group of guys, right? So success has been, I mean, they demand success. My favorite line, go ahead, Jalen. What's my favorite line? They tip their toes in success. We live in it. Yeah. So a lot of teams tip their toe in success, but we live in it. And, and, and these guys are a credit to it, right? The time, the summertime, you know, we may play 50, 60 games in the off season, on top of our 30 games this season. So uh, this group here, when I came back into my second tenure at Franklin, right, they were, uh, they were fifth and sixth graders, right? And we have, a, we have a elementary league with Oil City and Rocky Grove. 
well, with Oil City and Rocky Grove, their elementary programs are all one, right? These guys, so Drayden, uh, DeMarco, and Jalen played for the elementary team Central, right? That was the Central Elementary. Cole Buck played for Victory. Damon Curry played for Sandy Creek. So all these guys competed against each other at one point in time, and we do they dominated the Rocky Groves and the Oil Cities at that time, and they were in already split up, right? So I knew once we could go get it to gel and those guys to buy in, uh, you know, eight seniors, like typically in a basketball program, you're looking for two or three out of a class. So for eight to make it through, and probably should have probably been nine, 10, 11 in all reality. That was just a really big boy class, mm -hmm. in, you know, in 2024, way back when. So, uh, but these guys had success early on, you know, in, in their playing career, and the whole way up through. My challenge to those guys were that we, we bumped up the schedule. We opened up with Mars, a 5A school, uh, Meadville, 5A, uh, 4A, Hickory. Uh, honestly, I think that the only time that they, these guys have lost to a 3A team was District 10 playoffs against Girard, right? And then state playoffs right. is their only time. So 3-3 three and three was definitely humbling. I would guess, right? Yeah, you guys agree, right? There were some, there were some ugly, ugly practices. Uh, <laughs> had to deal with some adversity, right? And there were some ugly locker rooms, if you remember right, Kobach, huh? Yeah, Mohawk, right? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but go ahead. You guys, you guys go ahead and, and tell your, what you guys felt like the reflection of the season was. Well, I remember stepping into your office, like, at when we were 3-3, three and three, and... I, I I really wasn't worried because I, I always knew that like teams that go through more adversity always like come out on the other end way better than just teams that just uh, just flow through like our 2022 team we just glided through the schedule yeah, we did and, we did and like the teams that we lost to are teams that we pro the teams that were probably better than us so we we had like we there was no teams that were like on our level that like stepped up to us. So when that happened, we really didn't know what to do. So with now with this team, we knew what to do when teams punched us. We would punch back harder, and we we know how to we just knew how to fight, and we we knew how to grind it out. You mentioned this group of guys all going to separate elementary schools, kind of. But when was the first time you guys all kind of formed together? Was it junior high or was it your freshman year? Probably not till what. It was, actually, it was when it was when we were in like fifth and sixth grade because okay. like his dad coached our travel ball team and we'd go play in like the Union City and smaller tournaments in like Erie County and other places like that. They didn't play on it, yeah. right? So I, so probably not till what eleventh yeah, grade. It would have been our eleventh right? grade year. Eleventh grade. Wow. Us. Right now, I mean, we're always obviously playing in the gym and okay. in summer league and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was fun to watch as a coach. As much time, it was fun to watch. I wanted to ask one, one quick question about your guys' freshman season before we go to break here. Obviously, COVID uh, was your, your guys' freshman year. What was that like in, in general and get, pushing through that? And yeah. I just feel like, like whenever it was, that was our first experience. So originally, everybody calls out the intimidation of Coach Former's first week of practice as the <laughs> scariest couple weeks of your life when you're just running till you puke. But that first two weeks we actually had to wear masks at practice mm. so he limited it he he gave us the kind he kind of went soft i'd say oh and it was more skill work and kind of getting better but i feel like it was like a it was it was it was new waters kind of new territory us getting into and it was like kind of just experiencing and like trial and error kind of seeing what works and what doesn't and being able to be as successful as we were with that much adversity with covid losing players like luke guff my freshman year we lost him for a small period of time due to covid and it was just weird about having dudes bouncing in and out of quarantine all that stuff of course we're going to continue our interview right after a quick commercial break that's coming up on the red bank chevrolet main street sports show you guys this is a great show hey check out this all new 2024 chevrolet tracks one rs and cacti green Let's talk about some of those safety features. We have blind spot monitoring system. We have forward collision system with alert and brake, and we have lane departure warning as well. How about the gas mileage? 30 miles per gallon average, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. 
bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper warranty and the five-year uh, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. And check out the clarity on this backup camera on this 11-inch touchscreen. Can you believe you get all the features like heated steering wheel, heated seats, remote start, power sunroof, all for $24.9? It's a great value in the new Chevrolet. Hey, check out this Glacier Blue RST Silverado 4x4 Z71 four-wheel drive. 5.3 liter V8. It's a really nice sharp truck. All LT uh, and RST Silverados have this same interior. Got this really large touchscreen uh, display, built-in Google Maps, heated seats, automatic climate control, heated steering wheel. We have a backup camera, really great display, and all the safety aspects. Adaptive parking, adaptive braking, pedestrian braking, light spot mitigation. Follow us to Red Bank Chevrolet. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Protect your home or business from all those sneaky pests. Give Hugh Henry's Pest Management a call at 814-316-1875 or check them out online at bugguy.com. Pest Management, where nature and technology meet. Welcome back to the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House on ExploreClarion.com. Let's just jump right back into things. I wanted to get to the point. We were talking about the 3-3 three and three start to your guys' season, and I don't want to get too much into it given these guys are, you know, kids, but injuries did play a big factor in your guys' season. Uh, we, You had the ACL tear. Um, just what other, like, how, how much adversity did that have for you guys um, and, you know, getting repaired and rejuvenated to continue on the season? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I feel like with all these injuries, like it, it built a toughness and a grittiness out of all of us. Like, I mean, I feel like without the injuries, we would have been a little bit soft. But I mean, we we mustered soft. up, <laughs> we mustered up, and we we uh, got through the injuries and we worked through it and grinded it out. Of course. And then uh, skipping ahead a little bit, you guys finished off the season with a strong regular season. Um, what was the region record that you were mentioning to me on the phone, Coach? Yeah, so we've won uh, the region three years in a row. Right. So uh, three years back would have been in the Mercer County, a different region. Uh, so we played 14 games, ran the table 14-0, and 0, and then now in our new region uh, with, with Warren, Oil City, Corey, um, Cash, Titusville, we've won it back-to-back. -back. So that gives us a 34-0, and 0. and these guys, uh, guys kind of, it was a goal, right? It was, a, it was one of our goals. Uh, there was a number out there. They were pumped about it, right? Uh, it was exciting after every region win. Uh, we had a couple close ones with, with Warren. Uh, Jalen hit a game winner at, at home against Warren. Dame was out with a toe injury for six games. We still figured out how to go win in the region. And then, uh, and then Dame came back after six games. We played Warren again up at Warren. And uh, Cole, Cole hit a at the buzzer three-pointer tie ball game. Pump fake, yeah, you know I mean, and how many it, buzzer beater wins have you guys had this season? Just two, right? Just, just two. two, just two, yeah. And both yeah. of the both of the heroes are here. Like yeah, the, yeah. So nice. yeah, definitely it was. Uh, we don't like them to be that close, but 
you know, Warren's a very good program. I mean, they're a very good team. They won 4A districts. Um, and I thought that with us playing number one under and down a man at home to find out, find a way to win, and then Dane's back, and I feel like it's always tough when a player comes back from injury to try to get that flow back. And we were kind of spitting and sputtering at that point in time, but they still figured out how to go, go, go win. Of course. You finish out the regular season, then you go into the district playoffs, and you guys are humbled again uh, when you lose to Gerard. Um, we'll get to the second matchup a little bit later, which I'm sure you guys are going to be a little bit more enthusiastic to talk about. But what... What was that entire experience like? I, I don't know if you remember the game specifically, but what were the what was discussed in the locker room afterwards in a PG sort of manner, if you can? Well, after the game, we had the previous coach, Shingledecker, Coach Shingledecker. He came and gave us a little speech and you know got us ready for the state playoffs, and that kind of got us back on our mindset that it's not over yet. So we just got to look past it and keep going, and hopefully get that rematch, which we did. So, oh, and so a little backstory, right? So the 2006 team uh, lost in the District 10 finals uh, and then went on to play General McLean, which they lost to in the District 10 finals in 2006 in the Western finals to go to states and end up winning states. So uh, I was, I did my homework. I knew what was going on. I knew the history, right? So I had an opportunity to bring them up there, uh, that kind of deal. You know, as the locker room, I felt like that Gerard game, maybe we came in uh, a little too high on our horse, uh, a little little too uh, too confident, overconfident. Gerard's a nice basketball team, right? And uh, I thought that the Monday afterwards was the big conversation, right? So we, we had five days off for state playoffs, right? Typically, we scrimmage. We chose, I chose not to, right? I felt like there had to be some 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 healing time some understanding how we had to improve that kind of deal and i thought monday if you guys remember i thought like monday was a you know I mean, that that uh that come to jesus talk you know what i mean like hey look we need to do this we got to take care of this you're doing this too much we need more out of you here you know what i mean and, and it was a big boy talk right uh if uh these guys will tell you uh I don't, I don't, I don't put on the kid glove very often, right? I'm, I'm very fact-oriented coach and old-school kind of deal. And these guys have, uh, they've got to see it over the years, and, and I felt like they've matured, and that was part of one of our, one of our big, big successes down the road. So then, three state playoff wins, and you meet them again. Um, and I'm sure you guys can go crazy with what that game was like uh, to get the revenge on Gerard and, you know, move on to the state final. Um, I was going to ask you at the beginning, and I may ask it later, but the biggest moment, your favorite moment of the season, I'm sure it's unanimous that it was this game. Um, just what do you remember from that game and just the, the overall atmosphere and just how satisfying was it to beat those guys? Well, you know, we, we thrive off of bigger crowds. So, like, winning that game, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. I was... I was still sitting there when they were shooting free throws, like when the game was over, not believing it yet. I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, we got to get back on defense. Even though there's like seven seconds left, we're up by eight. It was just, it was unbelievable. I didn't, I always talked about going to Hershey. And then when it, like, when I, when we punched our ticket, I was, I, I didn't even know to believe it. Anything else you guys want to add? <laughs> <laughs> I think like one thing about the Gerard game was like uh, like we we bonded during that game. Like I feel like a lot of our guys were like, dude, we we're bringing this back for the community and we're going to do whatever it takes to figure it out. We got down about 12 in the game and we looked at our guys and we we're like, listen, we can do this. And we went to the locker room, had a talk at halftime, came out firing and we we knocked them out with our with our punch. Nice. <laughs> Coach, any thoughts? Um, Dame, you got anything? I feel like the biggest like eye opener was the jump ball, uh, losing the jump ball, hearing the crowd erupt. I feel like that was the loudest point in the game when it, literally the first couple seconds after losing the jump ball, it's kind of like an eye opener that we really were there and had to just live in the moment. Yeah. So roughly three thousand people, right at yeah. McComb Field House, packed, packed gym. Uh, we j I joke with my my assistants. Uh, literally, I, I I'm not afraid to be pretty loud. I'm a pretty loud guy. Right, and uh, 
literally had to scream at my assistants on the bench just to have a conversation. That's how, that's how loud it was. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, we joked around in, in practice, whatever, and I put the crowd noise on and, and <laughs> crank it up, and these guys are all like, what? What's going on? You know what I mean? But uh, if anything, we learned from, from the District 10 game to the state final game was much more hand signals yeah. so that we could communicate on the floor. Uh, and and, and uh, it's always been on Jalen's plate, right? So my point guard, I always call him the captain of the ship, whatever. And uh, I'm super hard on him all the time because he, I need him to be me. And, that, and sometimes that's, that's, not, uh, that's not easy. And so he gets, he gets some butt chewings at times that he probably didn't deserve, but it's just a part of the deal of signing up to be a point guard. So I felt like our hand signals and everything else really helped out you yeah. know, in, in, in that big crowd. Of course. Go ahead and shoot. I mean, the only thing that I can really think of other than what you said is uh, eye contact with, like, we know each other so well that, like, once we look at each other, like, locked in with each other's eyes that we know what we're going to do together. Like, we can talk to each other without even saying a word, and we know. Everybody knows what's going on at the same time. Of course. And then uh, we have a little bit of time here. There's definitely enough time to talk about the game itself, uh, the championship game at Hershey. Do you know the stats on the attendance on that one? So I think it was 1,300. Wow. 1,300, okay. you know, uh, I would say, uh, so just to put it in light, right, so the Western Final or Eastern Finals game, right, the Eastern Final game had 249 tickets sold. The Western Final had over 3,000. Hmm. So when it went to the States, same deal, heavy population. I mean, uh, these guys could talk about it, right? I mean, we're getting escorted out of town. The community was unbelievable. You know, uh, eight different fire trucks, police cars. They're shutting down 322. There's people standing in their park, car, cars parked. The poor people tr going through Franklin at that point in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, like it literally took us from the high school to, to out of city limits. Of, yeah, I live on hour. 322, so thanks. What's that? <laughs> I live on 322. So. Yeah, yeah, right. So, go ahead, you got anything? The game itself, I wanted to talk about yeah. the game itself. I know that might be a little bit, you know, hard memories for you guys, but just the fact that you guys got there. It was a four-point game at the end of it, but um, what were your final thoughts right when the buzzer rang um, other than, you know, just, I don't know, was it, was it realization that it was over? Was it frustration that you guys didn't get it done? Well, really, I felt like I could, I bet I could say for everyone, I left it all out there. So I, I didn't really have... I didn't have regrets. Yeah, we could have changed a couple of things, made it, not made a, those mistakes, but like that's a part of the game. And the only thing I was really sad about is like, like when I got in the locker room and they said, like our coach said, oh, I was sad not seeing you at the summer workouts and like talking to my favorite assistant coaches. Like I, I, I broke down. Like it was, like this it was just a fact that I'm not going to be able to be with these guys in this environment ever again. Of course. Anyone else want to add anything? I guess just overall, it wasn't like necessarily the sadness of the loss, but just the realization that we won't ever be in that same locker room with the same group of dudes again. But I feel like in the long run, it'll be more of a learning experience as we get older and start to realize the, what we accomplished and how great of value the lessons learned from this long season will be. I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but you guys will remember this for the rest of your lives. I know you guys know it too, but... Even like me, I'm only like six years removed from high school. I still have memories from high school. I didn't go to the state finals or anything like that, but you guys will definitely remember it, and I'm sure that makes it even better that you guys got to do it together. Um, we're going to take one more quick break here, and then we'll be back on the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show live from the Haskell House and on exploreclarion.com. We'll wrap things up with members of Franklin High School Boys Basketball. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perk Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. No matter 
how cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. can afford a gorgeous custom designed hardwood kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to factorydirectkitchens.net. At kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to factorydirectkitchens.net. That's factorydirectkitchens.net. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome back to the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show here with Franklin uh, High School Boys Basketball uh, starting five and head coach Jason Fulmer. I wanted to talk about what's next for you guys before we send you guys off to Sweet Basil for some dinner. Um, what's, what is next for all of you guys? Jason, are, I'm sure you're already in the scheduling for next season, off-season workouts, things like that. Um, no real off-season for you, I bet. No, so when you play to March, right, we talk about playing to March, you get to steal a month of practice right, that no one else is practicing, right? Yeah. Well, I kind of find out now that as I'm, you know, on the bus coming back from Hershey and I'm getting, hey, look, summer leg starts, here's my, here's your email, hey, are you guys in, you know, that kind of deal. So the process has already begun, right? I'm trying to get stuff wrapped up in 24 and close the, close the chapter on 24, uh, but we got some things going on, you know what I mean? Some, uh, the local stuff wants to wants to honor us and stuff like that, but uh, but ultimately got to turn the page, right? Uh, I got got a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of sophomores, a couple of juniors, uh, right back right back to work. And of course, and the experience that the underclassmen had is goes without saying. Um, for you for your seniors, uh, and I think I asked this before, but any of you guys playing spring sports? Not a single one. Wow. So your guys' athletic careers are are done in high school. Um, but what about college? Are you guys uh, any of you guys going up the road or anything like that? Or what, what are your college plans for any of you guys? Um, I'm not playing any sports in college, but I'm going up to Penn State Barron for finance. I know a few people up there, so I'm just going to go up there, have a few buddies up there that I'm going to hang out with. We'll just go through everyone. I'm going to undecide. I haven't decided where I'm going yet, but I'm going to play basketball and study bio pre -med at some university. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure yet. It's a good school. Some university. <laughs> uh, I haven't made my decision yet, but I have a couple offers my way. Uh, I'm able to go to Edinburgh for football, or I could. I I got accepted into Penn State, Maine, which is uh, is really cool. Yeah. And I I, have, I haven't made that decision yet, though. No. But for the pains. Oh yeah, um, I plan on going to Point Park up in Pittsburgh uh, and join my four years there. Maybe become a might might study abroad. But I mean, besides that, that's Stay right. bro. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Going to Point Park, do my four years there uh, for sports, uh, sports management, and then I'm going to study abroad. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Where do you guys want to study abroad? I have no idea. Maybe uh, there's there's two options. There's Italy and Rome. One's for business, and one's for uh, culinary. He's culture. got it all figured out. So. Yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> Italy and Rome. One. <laughs> 
one neat thing about Cole Buck, so uh, he's too mo he's he's too modest. He don't talk about it, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I, a, a NASCAR pit crew <laughs> recruiter reached out to me uh, about Cole uh, through instant message, whatever, mm -hmm. and said that uh, he got to see Cole Buck at the state championship game. Uh, his nephew was from Devon Prep, and uh, so. So Cole Buck's got some some decisions. You know I mean, I mean, basically it's a, a professional professional pit crew. Wow. So uh, you know, it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. You know, uh, you don't you don't see that no. every day. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, Cole Buck won't say anything about it, but I w I will. Of course. Uh, and then coaching. That's obviously an option that can come down the lines for any of you guys. Uh, do any of you guys plan on on pursuing that down the line? And I actually already am a coach. I coach my sisters <laughs> AAU team. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, that's it. Jalen, no, no coaching. I could probably coach football, but I can't coach basketball. No. I could tell you that. <laughs> Any no, other guys want to plan on being a coach, or is that something you just think will happen if it does, or if or if it doesn't? Yeah, I feel like it'll come like in the moment. Right. Like, it'll just come up, and I'll be like, "Yeah, I'll do it." Well, coach, do you have any advice for these guys if they do pursue that route? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a little. <laughs> so listen, so all, they've been around it, right? They they, they uh, eat, sleep, and drink it, right? I feel like as uh, as their life grows, right, and then there's a little bit of emptiness in that that competitive butterfly feeling in your stomach. You'll see a lot of these guys probably back in in the mix in the coaching side of it big picture do you, any of you guys want to like settle down around this area or you guys want to go to rome or italy oh <laughs> well, franklin's a nice place like around here like it's one of the best towns around like i would i could see myself settling here but i'm a big like i'm i hate the winter so like i'm, I'm thinking about south yeah. you know <laughs> it was snowing today actually it was ridiculous yeah. <laughs> Well, we wish you guys best of the luck in your, your future endeavors and coach for you next season. I'm sure you guys will be following uh, the team and, you know, keep tabs with the program and everything like that. Again, uh, congrats on the success you guys had this season, and thanks for joining us on the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show. Thanks, guys, for ha coming yeah, in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. Yeah. thank you. We're going to take our, another quick break here and on the Red Bank Mever Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show, live from the Haskell House on exportclarion.com. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there, Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tyanesta Builders. Tyanesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tyanesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tyanestabuilders.us. Protect your home or business from all those sneaky pests. Give Hugh Henry's Pest Management a call at 814-316-1875 or check them out online at bugguy.com. Pest management, where nature and technology meet. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665.
Welcome back to the Main Street Sports Show, live from Explore Clarion and sponsored by Red Bank Chevrolet. Just a quick wrap-up segment for you guys right now. Uh, we were just talking in the break, me and my producer, uh, that Mercyhurst is actually moving up to Division I college athletics, so that'll be something. A um, little bit of ways away, but still in, in our local area. Uh, I don't have much to say on that, other than I'm A, surprised, uh, and B, happy for them. Um, Pirates and Penguins are both winning against Washington teams right now, which is great. Um, and just in general, um, winter or spring sports are, are starting up, um, but weather has kind of hindered them. I know my sister's playing spring sports, but she's actually kind of not because of the weather. A bunch of her games are getting canceled. We're, we're going to try and get some broadcasts for some spring sports games, but that's weather pending. Um, our next broadcast will be on Wednesday. There is an event in the Haskell House on Thursday. So our next event will be Wednesday uh, with Robbie Lockman, a uh, former Clarion University football player who's going to be heading overseas to play in Germany, uh, some professional football over there. So that's all coming up on uh, from Explore Clarion and the EYT Media Network. Um, and that's pretty much all I got for you. We had a fantastic interview for you guys want to rewatch uh, it, it with Franklin High School boys basketball members and head coach uh, uh, Fulmer and just yeah uh, thanks for being a part of the Main Street Sports Show yet again we'll see you guys next Wednesday um, and that's all coming up yeah have a good night